All right, I've got the Vecan Pet Drinking Fountain. This is the stainless steel silver version. I've actually got two plastic versions of this one have been really good for me, and I just recently bought the black version of this one as well. I like to have a couple of water fountains for my cats to drink from. I have plenty of variety in the household then. All right, this is gonna be snugly packaged together. Nothing else is inside the box. I'm gonna get rid of that. And you can see it comes already pretty much assembled. So um, this plastic part right here is the only plastic part on this and the pump, of course. But you can unscrew this and pick it apart. I'm gonna keep it separated because I wanna go ahead and wash this off before my cats start drinking out of it. And this is going to be the pan that'll put the filter in. I just found out and read the instructions. You wanna make sure you take the filter and turn it in like this way. Uh, let me show you the filters that they provide. Now, the ones they provide, they'll give you two. You'll get one for the pump and one for this little pan here. And so this is the one from the pump. So, or one for the pan, excuse me. The one for the pump is going to be this like black charcoal looking one here. And it's already installed in there. All right, so this one goes in the bottom of the pump and this one goes into the pan itself. I'm told though you're supposed to put it upside down like this. So it should be noted, you probably should read the instructions. I didn't read it the last time I put this one together. So you'd wanna make sure that's faced down. We're not done unpacking here. They did slip in a non-slip rubber mat. This is kind of cool. Super satisfying to peel that off. All right. I'm gonna open this up. And this is the flower that goes at the very top of the fountain. Now you could use it, and if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to. Um, but I will show you how that all assembles here in just a moment. And of course we've got the power cord plug. It goes into that and then here's the pump and they've got it taped down on the inside hence why I want to still clean it out. Don't want to have tape residue in their water. I'm gonna peel that off. All right let's see about cleaning this up before we put any water in it. That way it's good to go and then of course we want to make sure that we rinse these out thoroughly. I've heard some people like to soak them but in the instructions it just tells you to rinse it thoroughly with cold water. So let's go ahead and take these and get them cleaned up. All right, I got some soap and water here, and we're just gonna kinda go through and give it all a good thorough scrubbing. So I just unscrewed this, that simple. Got a bottle brush. Now this doesn't come along with the pack, so you may wanna order some, or if you got some on hand, you can always do that. Scrubbing it down real good. Rinse it off thoroughly. And again, all we have to do to reassemble this is put the plastic right back in there and it screws right back on. Here's the pan where we're going to put the filter in. And we're going to give this a nice scrub in here because it had some of the tape residue in here. The one thing I noticed about this stainless steel version of the Vecan Pet Fountain is they, they've got like this little indentation where you put your pump. But with the plastic version, there's actually like a, a, a cradle that it goes into or like a, like a harness. So that way it holds it in place. So as I was putting together my last version of this, the black version of this, uh, I discovered that it kind of slips a little bit. So you want to make sure that you double check that before you put everything on top because that pump needs to be sent right up the middle. Otherwise, if it's slightly off, it's going to create vibrations and everything else like that. So, all right, so with the pump, it's coming with the filter. Pull that out and set it off to the side because we're going to rinse that out. And what we're going to do is pull this part off. Boom. And then the next part, you're going to reach into there. And I use needle nose pliers on this. Just go in and you're going to grab the fan. And it's going to seem like you're going to break it, but I promise you won't as long as you just pull straight up. It should come all the way out. So uh, famous last words here. Let's try this again. And it pulled out. And after that, should be able to get right back in here with no issue whatsoever. It's magnetic, by the way. So we're just going to set this off to the side. And anytime you're washing your pump, you want to make sure you get a little bit of the cord as well. And yes, 
you should not, do not wash this when it's plugged in. I think it needs to be said, a lot of people probably kind of wonder like, how do you do this without getting electrocuted? Well, it's probably a good idea not to wash it while it's plugged in. So I'll go ahead and I'll put it in here. I've got a little bottle brush that I'm just gonna scuff it up just a little bit. And then I've got the little pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna reach it in there. Give it a good thorough rubbing through. Let's go ahead and rinse it off. And again, hit that cord. It's important, don't skip out on that cord because it does get submerged in the water and it starts to get gunky. So if you're not cleaning it from one week to the next properly, it's gonna carry over and carry a lot of that bacteria. Let's put this little cog in here. I'm gonna clean that off as well. All right, as mentioned before, let's go ahead and rinse out the filters here. Give it a nice thorough rinse in. It's like cold water is fine. Remember this black one's gonna go on the very bottom of the pump. So let's reassemble this pump real fast. Gonna hold it up like this. We're gonna drop this in there and it just, it just slides right in there. It's magnetic. And then I'm gonna take this and put that over top. So that way it just squeezes right in there and then put that, stuff that right on the inside. The next step is going to be just taking and putting it down. And I recommend that you do the cord towards the back if you wanna have less light. If you wanna have more light, you can always go this direction. Uh, but I've always found it just so bright going that direction. I, most of the time, I just keep the LED lights off when it's on. It's just inessential. But if you'd like to have that, it's, it's totally your call. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this one up. Okay, that'll be enough water right there. Now we're gonna put the pan in here. Slip that into place. Now, of course, we need the filter, which I still need to rinse that out. So I've got this set up right now. We're gonna wanna make sure we turn it. Looks like it's almost upside down. So where it just kinda is, it's flat. If you do it this way where it's bumps, it doesn't fit properly. We're gonna do it that way, much better this way. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna take the top and put it over there. Again, making sure that you have the pump straight in the middle because otherwise it's not gonna feed out through there. And of course, it's up to you whether you want to go with the flower or go without the flower. Um, I usually do with the flower. They seem to enjoy that. Alrighty, it is ready to be plugged in. Now, of course, I'm sure you've already figured out by now, power cord right into that. If you have something else, you can go ahead and use that for sure. Now we got to start it up. You can see it coming bubbling to the surface there. Great. And then we can put the flower in there and it splashes down here. Okay, and then if you want to have the light on or off, that's completely up to you. I usually just keep the stinking thing off because it just seems to interfere with what I like doing, but you can see that the light was pointed towards the back of the fountain, so that it's a little less bright. If you point it towards this direction, it does get significantly brighter. So I'm just gonna shut it off. You can see how it works really well. Now, if you find that the trickling drives you absolutely crazy, then I would say get rid of the, the flower um, because the flower tends to make a little bit of the splashing and such. I think it's kind of minor, but you be the judge of it. But so far, it seems like Augie approved of it, so it looks like we're definitely looking pretty good. Now let me do a comparison just real briefly here. You can see between the Vecan Fountain, the uh, stainless steel silver, there's the black version, and then here's the plastic version, which I've had this one for a couple of years now. Works really well, I clean it once a week. They say once uh, every two weeks, but I do a lot sooner since I have a couple of cats. Love the brand, it's really good, and I'm just excited to try out these stainless steel ones and see if they enjoy them, because I'm sure they'll probably be cleaner a lot longer than the plastic will.